Welcome back to the channel guys in today's video I got a very exciting nft to go over that's doing some incredible things I have not yet seen before in the nft space now before we get started like always none of the things I go through in this channel should ever be considered financial advice please do your own research before investing in anything I'll be leaving all the links down in the description below so you can do your own research but with that being said let's get right into it today's video I'm gonna be talking about the abominable bunch now this project just goes by TAB it's the actual acronym for the project name but honestly they're doing some crazy crazy stuff guys now I do want to start the video by just saying I did get a chance to speak with the creator Morgan and he is one of the most incredible and genuine people I've been able to find in the space and I do want to clarify that I have not been paid to say anything about this project but I genuinely do think that this project is going to do amazing things in the space as they're really innovative and they're really caring about the community more than any other project that I've been able to see in the past now this is going to be a collection of only 4,000 400 nfts so right now there's four main tribes here we can see that the first is the yeti tribe and i'm actually part of the yeti tribe here there's also the sasquatches and the yaoi tribe lastly there's the mapangari tribe here so these are all similar characters they're just existing from different places across the world and it's honestly really great to see that they brought them all to life with this project here and as we come down we can take a look and see a little bit more about what the project has to hold now we can see that these guys are going to be upwards of 10 feet tall wielding razor sharp claws wearing diamond tough skin and outliving even the tallest of the trees no longer do beings capable of causing them harm walk the earth now divided by the continents long ago the abominable tribes almost never cross paths and when they do seldom it ever is without violence that being said something somewhere stirs them so much so that those who have began tracking them for a living abominable hunters as they're called have been corresponding with one another after a long-standing silence so as to discuss the increase in bizarre behavior so you can see on the right here we got the ancient sword so they're going to be able to wield these swords as well because these guys are actually warriors now we can see on the roadmap here that the lore phase 1a come february 7th the written mint commences granting public access to the correspondence between the world's leading authorities on the abominables solving the embedded puzzles provides users with a whitelist ticket to transactional mint on february 11th so you're going to be able to actually do these riddles and if you're able to solve them you're going to be able to get waitlist for the project there are two types of tickets the quick draw and the slow poke a quick draw ticket guarantees its owner with a discounted mint while a slow poke ticket provides its owner with a place in queue now slow poke tickets are internally numbered meaning that the owner doesn't know the full extent of its value until their place is in queue is called upon there's only 2,000 quick draw tickets and 4,800 slow poke tickets in circulation the first 60 people to solve the puzzles mint for free so this project is actually going to be minting in a way that i have not seen before so rather than operating in a traditional function they're actually going to have different levels of lore so they're coming in on february 7th and they're going to have a total of 12 days where there's going to be four waves of these lore right so each wave is going to serve as almost as a treasure hunt which is going to grant the community an opportunity to get whitelisted or even win a free choice of an nft from a pre-minted pool so this is obviously going to depend on how fast you're able to find the answer for these treasure hunts right so the intended purpose of all of this is to provide the community with a gas saver smart contract and so the way that they're rolling out the whitelist is that they're going to have 600 addresses every six hours until they're completely minted out so a gas war is simply going to be impossible and if possible a public sale is altogether avoided so very very cool stuff the guys are going to have a lot of community building that's the whole point of this game so instead of like play to earn games the whole idea of the community is that the community is the game and the game is the community so they're actually gonna have everyone interacting and once we get on the discord here we can just see how tightly knit this diehard group of people that are gonna be minting this project is including myself something really cool that they're also doing with their smart contract is that they're gonna have a deflationary mechanism again the first of its kind they're gonna have this burning mechanism that commences it'll begin producing an ever-changing list of active members each month in order to become active and remain eligible for tribal dividends users must participate in the burn by voting so what they mean by tribal dividends is that again there's gonna be those four tribes as we saw in the beginning of this video there's going to be games every single month that these tribes are going to be fighting for so the winning tribe is actually going to get a percentage of the royalties as a dividend back towards all the tribe members so a really great way of being able to give back to the community that's bringing up the value of this project users shall vote on the least four desirable abonimals
abominables contained within the collection. These less than desirable abominables should be brought back by the team for double uh, the floor price. They shall be burned permanently removing them from the collection, reducing the overall supply so as to add value to the remaining NFTs in the collection. A minimum of four abominables are going to be burnt each month. The ones elected to be burnt are not done so unless the owner consists to such. This mechanic may be reduced in increments as the project becomes more successful and the floor price rises. That's really cool guys. They're literally buying up these NFTs so you might actually have an NFT that you know might not be that great but you're actually going to double the floor price just by burning this NFT. It's only if you give them the permission to do so. So they're going to have the dividends as already mentioned. There's also going to be leaders are going to be elected from the community. So each of the communities is going to be able to vote on who their leader should be and they're going to be the leaders for their tribe there and again there is a total of four tribes. Now there's going to be different levels of lore as well as the play to earn games that they're going to have is more like a guild like game. So instead of creating their own game which I don't really see the point in that because realistically to create a proper game that's play to earn that's on the blockchain it's fun and a lot of people getting on is extremely difficult and I think a lot of projects are just throwing around the term play to earn game that's going to be custom made when I don't think they actually have a the funding or the skills to be able to do something of that merit however what they're doing with this is they're actually just going to be playing games that are already established maybe like super smash bros or whatever it may be with other influencer streamers and other ex-professional gamers because they have those within their ranks now here we can see the allocation of the mint funds but what i really like here is when we go to the tab royalties so what they're actually going to be making on a royalty basis 50 percent of all secondary market royalties are actually going to be going to the tribal dividends so there's actually quite a large amount of money that's going to be going in to the people that are getting on this project and are actually communicating and engaging with their tribe members and actually trying to win these monthly dividends so very quick math here we can see that five percent of the total sales are going towards royalties and half of that is going to the tribal dividends so just about 2.5 percent there say they had an average month there and we we're able to get about 50 eth worth of secondary market sales we're talking about 1.25 eth that would be given back to the tribe so again it's something that's going to be going back to the community just for engaging with everyone there now what kind of games can you expect to have to play to be able to earn these tribal dividends well you're obviously competing against the other tribes that are available here so there's going to be a bunch of different stuff from creativity and art finance problem solving pop culture and community building and last but not least like obviously video games right so you're going to have a bunch of different things that you're going to be able to do with your community maybe art's not your strong suit but you're a killer at super smash bros you main pikachu you're spamming down b not talking from experience guys but if you're able to do that then you're able to help out your community with the things that you're actually strong in right maybe your friends get up pop culture you're gonna be able to get on there and be able to help out the community and earn those tribal earnings right so actually the first six months worth of competitions they already have planned out so this isn't something that they're going to start doing this is something that they've already had completely planned out for the next six months here and again it starts on february 7th that's when the lore waves start coming out and you're able to actually try to get those whitelists early on once we come on here we can take a look at the fully docs team and honestly these guys have done an amazing job of creating a project with some diehard fans including myself again i have not been getting paid to say any of this i've personally spoken to morgan and the energy and passion that comes out of this man honestly shook me to my core because i've not seen anyone in the space that has come off in the same energy that Morgan has and I know he's going to do everything even if it means putting in his own earnings to actually make this project work the way that he wants it. He envisions a very long-term IP and he wants to make sure that everyone who's part of the community is fully satisfied with the investment that they're making here. As for the rest of the team, I'm sure if they have anything to do with Morgan and that he has actually been able to vet these guys and they have done an amazing job as well because he only surrounds himself with the highest of highest quality people. Now not only are they trying to give back to the community that's supporting them but they're also trying to help out certain social causes so with the four tribes loosely related sell them to their points of interest align internally decided that the four tribes shall be tasked with electing a social cause charity of their choosing so the manner in which they might do so is entirely up to them but the tab team intends to step back and watch as one ideal surfaces above the rest until four genuine
genuine causes arise. Our promise to the community being that those who chose to pledge to their winnings have their funds verified via social proof, basically to ensure the validity that the donations actually end up in the right hands there. So very, very cool stuff, guys. Again, they're going to be doing a bunch of social causes. They're going to be donating to the ones that make sense. But again, they're allowing the community to choose that. And that's the real emphasis that I'm seeing with this project is the emphasis on the community choosing what happens with the funds, what happens with the tribes, what happens with the games, whatever it may be. It's very cool to see that this is the main emphasis because that's why you should build an NFT project is to make sure that the people who purchase the NFT are actually enjoying their time with the NFT and the community that you've built around it. I'm also seeing is that on every page they have these little things, so Minotaur War Totem, and they have different pictures as well. I saw a sword, I saw some other things as well, the bonsai tree. Maybe that's going to be coming handy when it comes to the treasure hunts. Again, they have not told me anything about that. I wish they did, but they actually haven't. And so like maybe that's going to be part of the treasure hunt. I know I'm going to be partaking in Team Yeti, guys. Once we go on their medium page, we can see that they're extremely active. Probably the most active medium page I've seen for any NFT project. We can see here that they have a six month breakdown of all the competitions that are going to be available for the community, whether it's creativity, finance, you know, we're going to have gaming with Super Smash Bros and so many other things that also that are going to be available. Once we hop on their Twitter here, we can see that they've already amassed almost 3,000 followers. Now this number might not be a huge number, at least not something that we haven't seen before in the NFT space, but I can guarantee you that the people that are following on here are completely real and they are huge, huge fans of the project as well as myself. At the end of the day, the way that I see it is I would rather 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 strong members who genuinely have a true love for the project than to have 50 to 100,000 members, half of which are botted members and the other half are trying to quick flip and then you have a very small percentage of people who actually care about the project that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for projects that actually have real meaning behind it and people that will actually ride and die for the project here so when we come down we can see that they actually are very active on here as well they're posting multiple times on a daily basis and they're trying to do as many collabs with the genuine projects as possible what's really cool about the art is that they all have these hues here so different hues are actually going to be different layers that are going to be different traits for the end NFT here. So very cool stuff, guys. They're actually doing some crazy things in multiple different layers, right? We have a little gift. We have the four different abominable tribes here, and they all look very, very cool. Now, once we hop on the Discord here, we can see that they've already amassed just about 2,600 members on here, which is crazy because that is a very close number to the Twitter followers. My guess is that majority of the Twitter followers are actually on the Discord because, again, they've created such a strong community here. Now, what's also cool here is that we can also see the amount of members on each each of the four tribes here. I am personally a Yeti. What's also super cool about this project, which again is first of its kind, is that right now, because I'm part of the Yeti squad, I actually have a special chat with the Yetis. So only Yeti members are actually going to be on here and everyone else won't be able to see it. But you also have a general chat here, which all the different tribes are going to be available on. And again, this is very active for the amount of people that are on the Discord here. They have lots of different chats, all of which are very active on here with the community. Again, trying to build connections with each other with other clan members and whatever it may be again i'm a yeti i'm going to always be a diehard yeti fan so i'm hoping i'm able to mint one of those as well there i also did get some exclusive sneak peeks for some amazing nfts that they have going on here we can see here that we got a special sneak peek for a map in gari and i'm hoping i'm not betraying that name at all but really cool stuff guys they have an amazing hue here again this is super cool is the hues and the tints that they have on these individual nfts NFTs. We can see he's got some fish in the back there and all of these guys seem to be warriors and ready to fight with the other clans here. We have here a Sasquatch. The background looks amazing. It's almost like a watercolor art. I absolutely love what they've been able to do here. I really do want to give a huge shout out to their artist here because he has done a fantastic job with the NFTs. The knee armor on here looks amazing and honestly the more I look at these NFTs the more details I'm able to spot and it really does does put an emphasis on attention to detail, which is what I really like about these types of NFTs. They also have some very special backgrounds on here. This guy honestly looks crazy. If I'm able to mint him, I would be very, very happy. The blue eyes look very scary in an amazing way. He's got the polar bear skin hoodie on and he's got all the claws and chains around him. And I think it looks very, very cool. Maybe a manicure would do him very well here, but that's, I'm, I'm not one to judge to be honest. This one's beyond insane. It almost made me want to switch the Sasquatches, but I'm going to be sticking to my Yeti tribe and look at the boots, guys. He's got some crocodile boots here. He's got some blood coming 
out of him. It doesn't seem like it's his own blood. It seems like he just went on a killing spree with those red shot eyes. And I think it looks amazing. The blood dripping off of his nails look absolutely terrifying. And I think it's going to do very, very well on the secondary market if that's something that you want to be selling. But personally, I would be holding onto an NFT if it looks that amazing. Also, the background just super suits this NFT. I'm not sure if this was a one of one, but honestly, I would not be surprised if it was. It looks absolutely amazing. He's even got like a scar coming down from his left eye there as well as what's going on to his mouth so there's two main artists behind this amazing project here we have matt and james they are actually brothers and it seems like james done most of the art for the nft here and he's obviously an incredible artist i have to give him a huge shout out i'm going to be leaving his link in the description below as well as matt's here they both deserve a huge round of applause for their amazing artwork and again i'm going to be giving them full credit there so do definitely check out their instagrams and take a look more about the amazing work that these guys have done in the past that's the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching the video if you have any other questions make sure to join their discord i'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below let me know what you think of this project i'm obviously beyond excited to join the yeti squad here and mint it when the day comes here but with that being said thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one peace out